cutting edge. Featuring the premiere of the new video by R.E.M. Rank and File. Poetry by Dave Alvin. The making of the film, So What? Drummer of the Police, player of polo, composer of the Rumblefish soundtrack, and maker of films. With the police on sabbatical, Stewart is going to devote his vast reservoirs of diverse talents and energies to a lot of interesting projects. His documentary film, So What, on the English punk scene is just the beginning. So let's keep an eye on this guy. I'm just trying to find out who and what you are doing. If you get a very good film, what will you do with it? If you get a very good film and a nice... Have you been filming the, uh, the band? What purpose have you been filming the bands for? To make a film? A video? A film film? Well, what happened was that Miles called me up on a Thursday, I think it was, and said, look, all these bands are going on tour. How about if we make a film? I'll pay for half of it, you pay for the other half of it, and you can shoot it. And I thought, great, okay. So I got on the phone, first gig Saturday. And so I got on the phone Friday and, and scraped together a crew of, um, you know, cameraman, sound man, uh, grip, and minister of scams, and myself and um, hit the road. I'm going to tell you all about the meaning of life. Life basically is sex. A bit of violence as long as you're not on the other end. Drugs. Who cares about you? Who cares? Who cares about you? You! 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 Silly haircuts. And silly clothes. I'm being really silly. I'm being funny laughing and doing things like having tattoos because if you don't like them you can get removed for 200 quid i did a few obligatory interviews i figured you know what the hell you know i might as well interview some of these people but i, I didn't treat them like interviews or anything like that i just wanted I, the, the points they actually didn't express themselves that well when it came to their reasons for their lifestyle and everything explaining what it means they don't really think about it that seriously they just, you know, that's, that's, leave it to the scientists or something, then the anthropologists to figure out all that stuff out. They're not interested. They just want to go out and get crazy, which they do. And it's up to the serious people like me to try and follow them around and, and, and figure it out. I've been trying to decipher is why I'm so good looking. So I've got all these women after me, and what am I supposed to do with them all? You know, it's getting a bit embarrassing. Oh, oh look, an animal! animal. animal. It's not glorifying punk as the hip thing that's happening now, so I was there to, because it isn't hip. Punk is certainly not hip right now. Um, it's, you know, it's been seen, it's no longer new and everything, but it's still there in the English provinces. Um, they're still there. All the thinkers, the Johnny Rottens, have moved on. There's several uh, several fashions down the line by now, but the the real punks are still out there, getting crazier and crazier, getting more and more alienated by from the from the other bands and everything. And um, <clears throat> it's I was amazed by how many and how bizarre they are. The punks of today in Manchester and Leeds and in uh, Liverpool are more exotic than they ever were in 1977 in the, in the Sex Pistols chase. They've, I mean, they've kept on going out there, and they're right out there in the stratosphere now. <laughs> they're completely weird at this point. Look at these. These are my pants. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're my pants. Have a sniff of that. <laughs> I got 
got more shots of people's bums <laughs> than anything else. I mean, that, was, that seems to be their main gag. Oh, great, there's a movie camera here. Let me pull my pants down. <laughs> Instead of having four cameras or five cameras filming the band playing a song so that you can cut from one angle to another, you know, um, I didn't have five cameras, I had one camera. So I filmed five nights with one camera and cut it together. So every time, you know, there's a singer singing, cut away to the guitarist playing his guitar, it's a different gig. Cut back to the singer from the other side and it's a different gig as well. So every time you get a, you know, every time you cut away, the singer's, it's a different gig, the singer's wearing a different t-shirt and everything. There's serious continuity problems in this film. Looking at me! It would be terrific if a, there could be a revolution in filmmaking, the same way as there has been a revolution in music, which opens the door to new talent. You know, um, to make a record, you borrow a few hundred dollars, get, somehow get yourself into a studio, and you can just about be in business on your own. We did it. Lots of bands are doing it and have done it. But with films, it's a little bit more difficult. It's much more expensive, much more technology involved, and to, to get it shown to get to get it on the screen is much more difficult um, it's just a lot more expensive so the the bottom rungs of the ladder to filmmaking are just out of reach of um, talented amateurs and so this movie is is hopefully a first step um, in C movies I mean it's it was very cheap to make and it's still entertaining it's still watchable um, hopefully other movies things like Pink Flamingos and Eraserhead and so on Movies, you know, like it would be great if on Thursday night, for instance, such and such a movie theater plays weird movies um, for, for people who are broad-minded and don't necessarily have to see a car chase to be, or, or, a, you know, or E.T. to be excited. Um, and that way, a lot of the raw talent, you know, when you open up the floodgates, all the crap comes through as well as the talent. But the talent, some of the talent gets a chance that otherwise would have been stifled. And it would be terrific if such a scene could... Um, be born in America and England. Okay. 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 Okay.